Hey guys, how you doing? This is your friend Alex. On this video, I'm gonna show you how to move from WhatsApp iPhone to WhatsApp Android. I'm using an iPhone 7 and the Samsung Galaxy A51. Before we start, I want you to make sure that you have the latest software on your phone. So let's start with the iPhone. On the iPhone, if you go to uh, the App Store and then you search for WhatsApp, you want to make sure that you have the latest version. If you see a button say open, that means that you have the latest version. If you see a button say update, that means that you need to update. If you want to see what the version I have, I have the 2.21.181. And also make sure you have the latest version of iOS. If you go to settings, general, software update, you're going to see that I have iOS 15.0, which is the latest version. Also guys, make sure you're using uh, the regular WhatsApp, not the WhatsApp business because this will not work with WhatsApp business yet. So open WhatsApp and go to your chats and you're gonna do a chat backup. Back it up now. So make sure you have a fresh backup of your WhatsApp on the iPhone. This backup is gonna be 49.7 max. In your case, it's probably gonna be heavier, but this is just for testing purposes. Also select this if you want to include the videos, right? Okay, so that's it for the iPhone. Now, what do we need to check on the Android? On the Android A51, you need to make sure that you don't have WhatsApp installed. This is the first thing. Second thing, you need to make sure that you have the latest version of Android. So for update, you know, you click on download and install. And here you're gonna see that my software is up to date, right? You can see that I have one UI version 3.1 and Android version 11. And this is the latest Android version, okay? Also, I want you to open the Play Store and I want you to search for Smart Switch. Smart Switch, and make sure you have the latest version. Currently, the newest version is the 3.7.23.5. And also one more thing, you're gonna look for Google Data, Data Restore Tool. Make sure you have the latest version, okay? Data Restore Tool, if you want to see the version, you can see it's 10390604033. Okay, so once we have that out of our way, we can start the process. You're gonna need a special cable that goes from lighting to USB-C. I'm gonna put a link in the description where you can buy it at Amazon, right? I think it costs $10. And you're gonna plug the iPhone on one side, and on the other side, you're gonna plug the Android. Make sure that you have 100% battery on both devices because this might take a while and there's no way to charge these devices. So when you plug the cables, you don't see anything going on. So you need to unplug the cable and plug it again, right? And then you're gonna see this pop up. You're gonna select smart switch and you're gonna click just once. Okay, and look at this, it's connecting to transfer your data. Searching for data to transfer. So I want you to click this button to deselect everything and just select apps. And then scroll up and you're gonna click transfer. I want you to deselect all and I want you to select WhatsApp Messenger. Click install. And look at this, this is the QR code. With the camera app, you just move it on top and you're gonna read it. This is gonna pop up a link that is gonna open WhatsApp and it's gonna say move chats to Android. You're gonna click start and the whole process is gonna start. It's almost done. And that's it, it says done transferring your data. We are organizing your transfer data. What happened? One item, one Mac. So click here and look at this, WhatsApp Messenger. This is gonna open WhatsApp Messenger and you're gonna click agree and continue. Hold on one second. Let me do something really quick. Data transfer complete. But look at this, Galaxy setup, Galaxy A51 setup in process it says. So now it's asking me for my account, but I don't want to do this yet. Let me try with WhatsApp. Let me continue with WhatsApp. Agree and continue. Now it's going to ask me for my phone number, right? And this is another device I have as a backup, and I'm going to get the code on this device, all right? So I'm going to click Next. It's asking me to confirm the number, and I just got the text right here. Look at this, guys. And the code is 434340. So I'm just confirming my WhatsApp transfer. Okay, and it says importing chat history, start. Allow WhatsApp to access your contacts, allowed. Allow WhatsApp to access photos and media, allowed. 
So now it's doing the importing chat history. And here on the iPhone, it says continue on new phone. Import complete, it says. I'm going to click next. I'm going to put Alex399. I'm going to do a backup daily on this account. And I'm going to include videos. And I'm going to click done. Now it's authenticating with Google Drive. So this happened to me before. It takes a long time, but you can just go to... No, actually, you don't want to move from here. I'm going to click done. I'm going to click done, whatever, again. And that's it, guys. This is the WhatsApp message that I transfer. Okay, look at this, guys. I transfer everything, and I have... Uh, let me show you. I have videos. Make sure that the videos are working because sometimes when you do the transfer, you just see the thumbnail, but not the videos are not working. So this is a confirmation that the videos are working. All right, this one too. Everything is working. All the videos, all the pictures. And I also put this like an audio file. Hey, hi guys, we are testing the audio files on. Just to make sure that it's working. I also included some documents because somebody said that the PDF, they don't work. I opened Google Drive. And now when I try to open the PDF, it's asking me this. I'm gonna click Drive Always. And this is the PDF. So the PDF, they got transferred. No problem with that, all right? I just confirm it. How about uh, this file? You might not have a proper app. Okay, so you need to configure what app is going to open Excel files and what app is going to open DOC files. That's just a matter of configuring an app that is going to open this file. But the files itself, they transfer, all right? And that's it, guys. We were able to move all my chat history from the iPhone to the Android without any pain software. We just use a smart switch. And this is a native function that WhatsApp introduced with the new Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 3. And that's it, guys. That's how you transfer your WhatsApp from the iPhone to an Android device. This is now possible on Samsung devices with the latest software. But uh, once you have it on the Android, you can do a backup on Google Drive and then you can move it to a Xiaomi, a OnePlus, a Google Pixel, whatever you have, Motorola. And this is your friend Alex. Thank you so much for watching my video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, guys. And that way you will help me a lot. Thank you. I'll see you soon. Bye. Again, recorded with the iPhone 13 Pro Max.